Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Tuesday edition of the Diamond Network show, Voices of the Eternal e- <laughs> of the Eternal Alternative World. Thank you all for being here. And tonight, Dale is going to talk about our eco village, and I'm sure we'll have a lively discussion about eco villages and all forms of alternative lifestyles. So. With that, I'd like to invite Misty to to invoke the law of one to set the tone for the evening and just bring in all our guides and all the all the galactics and on in the earth energies and Gaia and, and our earth goddess, mother goddess Gaia to support us in this call and be one with us and helping create a new earth and sustainable lifestyles that support our ecosystem, support our planet, and support a way of life that will be healthy and whole for all of life on the planet, not only humans, but the animals, the plants, the insects, everything that that, that lives here. And as, of course, all life is one. So, Misty, do you want to Oh, indeed. Thank you very much. So may I just begin and say that we are all one. And when one is harmed, all are harmed. And when one is helped and healed, all are helped and healed. And therefore, I ask that only, in the name of who I am, I ask that only that which is in the highest good of all concerns happens. And I give thanks that it is done. So be it, and so it is. Amen. And forever in gratitude I am. And so be it. Thank you, Misty. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you for being a part of the show tonight. Pleasure You're welcome. You. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we just like to see more people participate in this show. Well, Dale, are you ready to... Um... Yes, I am. Yeah, all right. Okay, now this, uh, this if you uh, Google uh, Mike Reynolds, the Garbage Warrior, and Earthships, or any combination thereof, once again, it's uh, Mike... Reynolds, R-E-Y-N-O-L-D-S, he's the uh, garbage warrior, and if you put in Mike Reynolds and then Earth Ships, E-A-R-T-H-S-I-G-A-S-H-I-P-S, uh, you'll go to that website, and then you can kind of just cruise around the website, and you'll get to the point where he, he had a, a graduate uh, a colleague of his and and, uh, and e- eco uh, design and engineering, and, and they're the ones that are putting uh, together and with that group. They've actually got a school that you can get a certified from, and you can use these uh, uh, materials to build approved housing out of out of the natural materials. So you're not you're not stuck with buying warehouse or paper or Georgia Pacific's two by fours. You know, you you there's a, they really have opened up a new world. And on on his website, he has written something fairly profound as a result of the Syrian refugees, and he's actually asking for volunteers to to go over there and help build these because they they have limited amounts of money and very few resources to build these earthships so they, they, they these people can start rebuilding their lives outside of the war zone. And so, in any event, this is this is what he wrote. 
if all the soldiers and all the armies and all the world put down their weapons and picked up their tools and started building sustainable carbon zero housing for all the people in the world, our problems would be over and real life for all people would begin. So I thought that was pretty profound and and worthy of, uh, it shows you the caliber of the people that are involved in the sustainable energy and housing movement and uh, per, the permaculture, agriculture. That's it's uh, just like Jeff Lawton. His 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 goal is to get the entire planet, uh, make the entire uh, planet an, an edible forest. So you, you're not going to have to be concerned about getting food because you just reach out your hand and grab it from the, the trees or pick it out of the ground, uh, like like all the rest of the creatures on the earth do. But somehow. Uh, Genesis one twenty nine, I believe. Uh, so sorry. <laughs> no, that's okay. I didn't want to. Uh, if you had something to say, I didn't want to interrupt. Oh well, I was just I was going to grab my Bible real quick because you know oh. I think it's Genesis one. It, it, I'll look it up, but I'll find it when it's when I talk later. Okay. Yeah. We need to eat the eat the fruit from the uh, oh. trees that produce seed, and Thank so it's in Genesis. You so know, anyway, and, I'm loving. Uh, Jennifer. You know, uh, this is the thing about this program. Uh, Jennifer, this is uh, this is a place of generosity and tolerance and patience. And uh, my, our our feeling as a as a whole is that. If somebody feels compelled to communicate, then by all means, you know, uh, speak out. There's uh, nobody's got uh, uh, control of anything here but our our creator. So. Uh, oh, thank well, you, and I didn't mean to interrupt, but this is no, Misty. It's not, not a problem. <laughs> well, it's, yeah. it's, uh, you, you, you may you may never know. You you may have that one expression, the 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 key that lock, unlocks everything else that we need. So let's. Uh, that's what we want. We want a free flow of information. So okay, we can then give it. Well, yeah. thank you. I found the scripture. I found the scripture. Okay. You were talking about the vision of you know the that we can ha- you know eat the of the forest and trees. Okay, Genesis twenty nine one twenty nine, and God said, Behold, I have given you every herb bearing seed which is upon the face of all the earth and every tree in which in the which is the fruit of the tree yielding seed. Okay, I'm reading King James Version, so excuse me. <laughs> oh, it's supposed to say, to you it shall be for food. Okay, so anyway, thank you. I just wanted to share that. Yeah, well, it's, uh, that, that, and that's... That's I met, I met Jeffrey at an eco conference over here in Southern California, and all all he needs is access to the land. Uh, so he, you know that that's the impediment. Uh, all the all the titles of ownership and all the borders and all the nationalism and everything is keeping us separated. And uh, you know he's ready to go. Uh, and I and I said, okay, well you know I'll, I'll go to work on that for you. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Well, I also was reminded of um, the Anastasia books, where she um, lived totally off the off the land. You know, that Candy was talking about for a long yeah. time. Yes. Yeah. You know, oddly enough, uh, in, in my own case, I uh, growing up as a kid in Alaska, I I, I I swear on a sack of Bibles. When I went out, went out in the woods, and, and that's where I spent my time in uh, my childhood, and a, a good percentage of it alone in the woods, I never packed a lunch, ever. <laughs> I, uh, it was cranberries. It was rose hips. <laughs> you know, it was ice-cold glacier water. You know, I, 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 there wasn't a moment that there was the, the environment didn't make me feel welcome and uh It just uh, we have to we have to restore what we originally had, you know. 
uh, and that's that. It's a restoration and redemption, you know, uh, and re- uh, both uh, our relationships with one another and our, our the the universe around us. And it's just a it's a journey, you know. And ho- and finally, we're at the point where we're spiritually equipped to move forward that way. So it's just we're we're blessed. Yay. It sounds, it sounds like reclaiming the garden, the Garden of Eden, you know, the, getting, getting well, this, ourselves back to the garden. Yeah, yeah, the, the focus of tonight's show, uh, uh, for for lack of something else for us to do, I thought it would be a, to take a, it would be a good, a fun thing to take a cruise through uh our eco village and uh, and what's transpiring, uh, what's transpiring. Uh, let's see. Somehow, somebody has somebody has uh, hijacked my. Uh, uh, okay. Oh, I'll send that out anyway. Uh, now, I'm, I'm, this is really strange, folks, because I was on the I was on the web page, and all of a sudden, I got a picture of my granddaughter. Oh, which is you say? She said, "I'm hey, I'm here too," you know. <laughs> so anyway, let me back up. Let me back up just a second, please. Okay. Okay, now this is this is okay. We'll start from the beginning. Okay, this is our eco village located in British Columbia, and uh, uh, this is uh, this is uh, kind of kind of a, uh, an exciting event that took place after 17 years uh, by the executive director uh, uh, Brandy Gallagher, and she uh, so she wrote. This is what she wrote. That's it. We're moving. It's, it is true. After 17 years, my family and I are moving into our new home. I write this new later, le, newsletter on the last night of officially living in the old farmhouse, bread and breakfast, and space at our eco-village. It is pretty surreal to have been living as a sardine for so many years without much for any personal space, and now to actually be moving into Freya's house, legal building permit, uh, in other words, they they now using their building methods. I've also uh, got their building uh, constructions approved by the local building authorities. So that's that's another big step. Much like the people uh, under with Mike down in Taos and uh, and the Earthship. So the the governing authorities uh, with architecture are are coming around and saying, "Gee, this is really a good thing because." We don't have to uh, worry about infrastructure or power plants or putting up uh, irrigation systems. These people are they're, they're they're not a they're not a menace. They're you know made up of uh, people who are highly educated and skilled and and uh, you know th- 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 there's a, there's not going to be a negative impact on public health as a result of their activities. And that's that's a huge thing, huge. I can't I can't say enough about that. The the step that they've uh, and, you know, the time it's taken to get to this step. Uh, I, uh, okay, he says, and now actually moving into Freya's house, legal building for a uh, name as our, our eco houses is built, thinking very much about our next generations. I wish to express so much gratitude to all the family and friends who have made this dream possible. For my son, Blaine, who worked hand cutting stone, with an infamous Irish stone crafter and the incredible teachers and crafters, yes, including you. I started to write na- names of everyone but realized it would take the whole newsletter. McDonald and Lawrence for their work supporting affordable housing and the making of our beautiful timber frame, and to all our deeply loved interns, learners who all came along for the ride, to every person who ever said, I'll be there for you to help with your house when it's time, and you have been. Thank you. So along with the update, here's our education and outrage update. We are three days into what is already perhaps the most outstanding year of our eco-village. I think we say that every year, 
and a new crop of nine homesteaders and the return of four homesteaders from last year as part of our leadership team. And there's a there's a little note about this, and uh, Sonny's aware of it, that in the Pacific Northwest, uh, th there's hundreds of these intentional communities. And I'm uh, showcasing an article at Eco Village because, it just, you know, for me personally, it happens to be, it, it's my personal favorite, but it's like, it's like music and art. If you if you go to the uh, web page uh, uh, of uh, the Fellowship of Intentional Communities, and that's what you Google. It's the Fellowship of Intentional Communities. It'll give you, you know, hundreds of communities all over uh, intentional communities all over the world, and 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 that is, that includes a number of them in Hawaii. And some of those people you may actually be familiar with. So. Uh, it, and it's always an interesting uh, to go on that site because it's it's changing constantly, and uh, with new additions and some some communities fall by the wayside. But you know it's it's a, it's a really a thriving uh, uh, part of of the, the, this new world that's being created, and um, each person is already showing up in the most vital way I could never imagine as possible as it always just keeps getting more and more rich as the unfolding process of team building continues this week. We're about to spend eight months together and change our eco-village lives in ways that we have no idea of yet. Stay tuned. We have an amazing line of incredible courses, uh, uh, mushroom mysteries and medicines gathering, and so many new partner groups coming in to offer lots of lots to uh, lots and lots to all our friends in our learning community. We will give a major update on all the new courses as they come online. So these, they, you know, there, there's, a, and, and the, the, again, uh, along with uh, uh, Michael down in uh, Taos, he has a whole a litany of online classes and, uh, and, and, and information that's available to, to assist in the development of uh, Habitat communities and agriculture and and energy and uh, it's it's uh, you know it's really it's uh, really refreshing and and exciting what's being created here. We have an amazing line of incredible courses, so on and so forth, and you really need to come by and see the beautiful new teaching kitchen in our zero mile meal eater eatery. We have so many amazing installations of live edge work at woodworkings and artist builder elements that you will not recognize the place. And our farm and gardens have already spun to life with new baby starts, uh, plans and, 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 and four leggeds, you know? So there is, she's talking about the livestock, uh, that that's, uh, being added to the, to the mix. And, uh, Let's see. I'm got, we've got to scroll down a bit. Did, um, did that article say that they were moving their whole project? I, I uh, was... uh, excuse me once again. Um, did that article say they were moving their whole their whole um, project? She was living for the last 17 years in temporary quarters, uh, oh. and now, now that her place. It is built. She's going to be moving, but within the community. You know, oh, okay. It's just a, it's just a, there was a, a team effort to build that place, and it took time, and it yeah. took time to get to get the approval of all the governing authorities and the permits, and then how the how the uh, land was going to be held uh, individually uh, or in common by the by the community. And so all these issues have been hammered out, and so finally she's able to take possession of the building and occupy it, you know. And, um, and so it's a, it's like a milestone that was was reached. Um, yeah, it sounded like it was a it's pretty well established and large. I was reading um, all the different phases they went through. Yeah, and, and, and they had, yeah, nine and, homes. And this is, and, and and this is, you know, in terms of time, a uh, 17 teen years is a relatively new community. So, but it is, it is established, and the 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 uh, spotlight that I wanted to shine on it was was the reasons for that. 
And the reasons for that is, is basically fundamentally the people, uh, an organization of family and friends, uh, coupled with the knowledge that, you know, they have the practical knowledge uh, of, of growing food and building buildings and, and uh, energy. Plus, the most important part is the spiritual composition of the people and the community in it. Uh, you know that that it's got the glue that that holds civilization together, and uh, and it has you know it has to have all those components. It it, it doesn't you know it doesn't just live uh, each individually component. It, is, it, it works. Well, let's just say the sum of the of the parts are uh, uh, the sum of the whole is greater than the parts. You know, uh, and uh, that it all has to work together. And uh, and this now we're, we're moving forward, uh, and uh, and they say tours and tea are all years come on by, so they're they're always extending invitations for people to go up and visit the visit the village, and they're beautiful. And, you know the way to describe the structures is they they look like really uh, uh, welcoming little hobbit huts, you know, uh, made out of the, the natural. Uh, Oh, elements. Okay, and, and now here we're going on. We're moving on. Uh, the grand opening. Uh, the This is a grand opening, a celebration of our eco-village as an award-winning uh, model for integrated, sustainable living and agricultural community design. Land protection, green burial, and ecological education center. After a long eight-plus years of negotiating the financing of our amazing nonprofit multi-stakeholder community services cooperative. Yep, it creates a lengthy name when you put all the pieces of the puzzle back together in a holistic design, ownership model. Van City Credit Unit has stepped forward with incredible support and have gone above and beyond to assist in ensuring this innovative community ownership design can take title of the lands and projects of our eco-village uh, and the R meaning one united resource. That was, that's what R means. Uh, one united resource eco village since 1999. Our when I say our, that would, that's what what would that means. One united resource. R has worked endlessly to create everything you know and love about this 25 acre sustainable living demonstration site and education center to be legal. So if there's anybody that comes by, they've they've got their papers, you know, and uh, they they don't have to move off the land and tear down the structures and all that sort of nonsense. Mm -hmm. With one precedent and allowance after another, much changed quickly in 2008 when when uh, the markets crashed suddenly. And and this is a blessing, you know, uh, the the Chinese word of, uh, uh, for that's a word too many for the same word. Is danger and opportunity, and here's a case where the, the, if, the, if the market hadn't crashed, uh, uh, suddenly innovation became a risk evaluation for banks, credit unions, and we approached for moving our mortgage from a private trust to a full untitled co-op mortgage. So the the the, the banks were were not interested because uh, they weren't in a state of crisis and looking for new and innovative ways to distribute their capital. And so it, it, it really is a coincidence that if it hadn't been for the market crash, that it, they probably wouldn't have been uh, uh, innovative enough to go ahead and adopt this particular verbiage in their uh, documents. Uh, though the values and ethics of cooperation and ecological uh, education are highly esteemed in the wild wor wider world, it is often difficult to bridge the old conventional models and the award uh, and award willing precedent work of new structures. And yet we have. Now see, this is why it's really important to, to stay abreast of the developments because, you know, you, 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 well, if you get faced with some obstacles, you say, oh, this just I just can't do this. Well, it's not true because there's there's somebody that's traveled that road before. You're in, in the world we're in today. You're not alone. So there there is a solution to even the the darkest problem. 
uh, please join us in celebrating one of the most important steps in the history of our Eco Village. We are wishing to invite all of our amazing co-op, our funders, supporters, past participants in educational programs, volunteers, and for many of you who are so many of these titles, just everyone who has ever been a part of laying their hand to the creation of this incredible achievement of human endeavor. We will all truly uh, we all have all truly co-created the commons again and worked so hard to create the structures and administrative processes to allow for an experimental model and a hope for the commons, for the common good by the common people to rise again. There is so much to see and so many changes at 216 alone, 2016 alone, from a new lake, huge food systems expansion, four homes ready for living in this year, beautiful detailing and commercial kitchen for our zero mile uh, meal eatery, expanded courses, many new outstanding quest teachers, guest teachers, and highly recognized speakers coming for 2016. Check out the Restory Festival and amazing storytellers from all over the world, on-site homeschool program, and so and so many amazing communitarians. You know, and that's I I, I like that that word because certainly uh, at the base of uh, our program is is we are part of that community of communitarians. We. Uh, yeah, uh, I like that. I like that term. Yeah. yeah. So you know, and here they have uh, here they have a schedule of what their plan is for the grand opening. One o'clock tea and treats to one thirty welcome in opening from funders, founders, and celebrated community heroes. Uh, Two o'clock site tour of educational facilities, farming food systems, awarded ecological design, natural buildings, and affordable housing cluster. Alternative energy systems, wastewater systems. See, this, this, these are all these wastewater systems. There's so many waterborne diseases that you, you that the, 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 the city, counties, and states, and federal government is really concerned what you're doing, what you're doing with that wastewater, because that's that's potentially a, a uh, incubator for all kinds of uh, 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 what you call terminal and illnesses. So uh, wastewater systems, art and culture, governance, structures, and so much more. So, you know, this is uh, when when uh, Belden comes aboard, we're we're going to uh, go into this uh, over time in detail. And uh, and but what we're, what you're saying is a uh, it becomes repetitious once you you develop the skills because. You know, uh, there's there's only so many ways to build a car or bake a pie, or and and so there are going to be variations on a theme, but there are certain components that all these communities have to possess in order to be successful and 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 uh, sustainable. Because somebody from some government agency, you know, either city, county, state, or federal, is going to come along and say we well, can't do that. You know, well in this case, that's no problem. They've they they met all those benchmarks. And her and overcome other hurdles. So we you, you we have in fact what uh, Bucky Fuller has uh, stated. You know, let's 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 get busy building better models. Now let's not fret about all this all the uh, stuff that's uh, that we're not happy with. Uh, and uh, three o'clock. Thank you to Van City and 17 years of funders. 3:30 depart or uh, stay on the uh, on for the. The afternoon of community building a digital storytelling session, capturing the history and hopes of our Echo Village. Uh, five o'clock community feast in our zero mile uh, meal eatery. A six thirty evening program and musical performance. So, you know, you you say, well, I don't want to go out in the booties and and live like a caveman. That's not the case at all. Uh, these these uh, these uh, these communities are full and vibrant and dynamic and and uh and, and you know you're not you're not going to lose any miss anything you're going to be you're going to actually have more opportunity to uh enjoy everything that you do here and uh now, now here's a a brief uh explanation of the of the courses that are offered at, in our eco village uh they have permaculture teacher training so uh permaculture design certificate earth activist training Eco Village, Eco Village Design Education, 
and and, and it's and that comes with uh, Department of Education uh, certification. You know, the, uh, then natural building programs, return to the village. Uh, you know, building communities, spring inclusive leadership, youth, and community convergence, and uh, the, the story festival. So there's there, you know there, there's a number of classes that are listed, but if you go deeper into the program, there's any more. And then there, there's some beautiful pictures of the various types of architecture that are on this on this structure. And uh, now this is a, a this is this is a, a, a little uh, synopsis of the of uh, the eco eco village design education. Uh, the course is inspiration and training for being a responsible, able catalyst for regeneration. Uh, the, see, it's 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 dealing. What we, what we have to do is change our thinking and behavior, and to do that's not easy. And they get have, create the support that you know the things that you have to do to be function in this type of an environment. You know, and then they and they train you how to do that. Uh, you know, they just don't. Throw everybody in the village and say, "Okay, well, and and let's see what happens." You know, there's a there's a pathway, and uh, you, 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 it requires a, there's a learning curve. You know, you just don't jump in the pool and start swimming without knowing how to swim. And and they've got a, a, a way of doing that. Uh, and here's the vision: designing eco, eco villages as living community centers and its adaptation models for climate change and social justice in a new global paradigm. Uh, so it's, it's a comprehensive uh, mission statement, and it's, it's, it's a beautiful thing. You know, they, they've, uh, they've dotted the I's and crossed the T's and, uh, and dealt with the, devils and the devil in the details, and, that's, and you, there's no escaping that. Uh, because the, the 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 first weakness uh, as a, as a weakness that you have in any area is going to come right to the surface, uh, in, in one form or another. And and so this this is this process has taken this particular group of 17 years, which is me to me is really phenomenal. You know, that is, it says that these that it just tells me that there are some extraordinary people that are in this community in order for all these things to take place. And for the for them to persevere and continue regardless of the obstacle, uh, the 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 it, it's a matter of uh, character and uh, uh, and a matter of principle. And you know, you say, well, uh, I, I I can go to the end of the earth with these people because they're not going to give up. You know, uh, with the first uh, the first day of rain, uh, they're just going to say, oh yeah, okay, we'll get past this. And that's the mentality that you, everyone has to have if they're going to change the world, is perseverance and dedication, uh, and character and principle. And so, and, and these people, they've got the whole package. And that's why, that's why it's such a, uh, to me, it's such a good example of, of, you know, how to get it done, you know, uh, and what it takes to do it. Uh, our eco village is proud to host the first eco village in ecological design in the Pacific Northwest. They, they were the know? first ones. They're saying they were the first ones. Yeah, the first eco village and ecological design (EDE) in the Pacific mm -hmm. Northwest. Join us to deepen our community framework to create healthier systems with foster models of resilience and regeneration. See, and, and this is this is a sim, very similar to what Mike wants to do at Taos. Uh, they realize that that it, uh, you, that model that Buckminster spoke about. Once you once you create it, you've got to it's it's a model for the world. So you've got to uh, uh, be an advocate and uh, and advance this idea, you know. And 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 you've got to have a component to do that. And they're very inclusive, you know. They're they're you know they're they're inviting people in and just like uh, uh, Mike down there in uh, Taos, uh, you know, come on, learn this, get it, you know, uh, don't don't despair because uh, you know the 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 present is uh, you know going to the past. It's like a grandfather that passes away. That's not the end of the world. 
It's, it's now we take all that knowledge that, that was given to us for the past and we move forward with it. You know, so it's it's all positive. And this is, uh, uh, yeah, see, this is a this is a the curriculum has been designed for the place where it is offered, custom made for our eco village village by world class curriculum designers who will be with you in person to facilitate the course. You will be supported in deepening your understanding and practice of the art of regenerative design throughout the course. Become a proactive steward of what is possible, making a difference on a globally connected level. This course covers the entire content of the permaculture design certificate. And uh, this is... Uh, this is what you know, Chris and uh, and uh, his wife up in uh, up in Oregon. Uh, this is why I was trying to recruit them, and uh, and I brought in the subject of permaculture. And uh, I said, uh, when I asked her, was it was the program in in sharing gardens similar to permaculture? And she said, no, it's not. And and uh, and I just uh, haven't had the opportunity to ask her. Well. Could you please, because the model's so great. I mean, gosh, if everybody's getting free vegetables, you can call it schmo as long as, a, you know, I don't care. It's it's what the end product is. Yeah, I've, it's working for them. It's whatever they're doing, it's working for you. It's so, working for them in the and community. I'm only, yeah. yeah, I'm saying and I'm interested in, in, in what works and not uh, what the name, what yeah. it's called. Yeah, yeah. right, because I don't, I don't completely understand that permaculture yeah. How that differs from, you know, yeah, what that, they do. Yeah, so this, these are the nuances and the subtleties that 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 need to be articulated, you know. Uh, and, and this is this is the show to do it on. It uh, it, it just wasn't a reflection on anybody. Just say, you know, I'm just uh, I'm like I'm like Pac Man. I just keep gobbling knowledge, you know. Uh, uh, and sometimes it, uh, it it can be a little an affront, you know. Uh, in the first two weeks with uh, permaculture design certificate, in the first two weeks with Starhawk, with an additional three weeks of advanced EDE components, and two. I just saw that. Star, yeah, Starhawk. Yeah, she's a yeah, a little bit. Very uh, famous um, pagan leader, priestess. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's uh, uh, so anyway. The, the, with an additional three weeks of advanced ED components to complete the ED, EDDE curriculum with Julia, Julia, Jillian Hovey. but ultimately, going through this course, you end up with a certificate and, and more importantly, the knowledge to to start putting your own eco village together. With your your friends and family, and and in whatever area that you choose to do it in, you know, um, the uh, the EDE syllabus covers the permaculture design earth activist training certificate content, and adds the full curriculum features required as part of the four dimensions of learning outcomes. Uh, check out the Gala Education YouTube video on the EDE program, and uh, when you and I then I suggest this to everybody that you you uh, Google uh, our Eco Village and and uh, uh, subscribe to their newsletter. Uh, and, and there's no obligation if you feel uh, compelled that you want to give them a little money. There's a, a place to donate, but you'll receive the newsletter regardless, and it'll it'll give you all this information. But I just I wanted to uh, uh, get you know. Go go through it in, in a little bit of detail, so to show you how comprehensive it is. Um, yeah, so uh, there, you know, it says check out the uh, Gala Education YouTube video on the EDE program. And uh, I imagine if you push uh, punch in uh, YouTube and our Eco Village the EDE program, it would bring you right to that video. And they they probably got a lot of videos on YouTube. I haven't had the opportunity to really spend a lot of time to look at it, but uh, in any event, uh, the Eco Village Design Educa Education Curriculum was an official contribution to the United Nations Decade of Education for Sustainable De Development to, to, through 2005 through, through 2014, and is ratified as part of the Global Eco Village Network and is given full certification 
through Gata Education International. Our Eco Village is recognized around the world as a leader in residential educational programming as has been teaching permaculture and ecological design courses since 2001. This makes for a great combination of teachers, content, guest speakers, specialists, and a world-class demonstration site and education center coming together to offer a unique and inspiring experience. The innovative EDE is holistic, fractal, and holographic, designed to see the whole partly through specific examples and practices. The intention is for you to learn the specifics and the patterns and leave, and, be, and leave more able to see, be, and do wherever you go. So it just, it's, it, 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 by having this knowledge, it, it empowers you to go places that perhaps w without that understanding, you would be hesitant because you say there was too much uh, unknown, you know. So, um, I have, yeah, excuse me, it's getting close to 620 now, and uh, I'd, I'd like to have, you know, ask a few questions or anybody else might want to ask a few questions that came up uh, in my mind about um, when people become a part of this community, do they, um, do they pay a fee for membership, do they well, the, the, uh, the first thing, Sonny, and in answer to that question, and yeah, you may, you may have one uh, follow-up question, but yeah. the first step is subscribing to the newsletter, familiarizing yourself with the community, and then and then uh, if if it's compelling, the thing to do is physically go there, and and then you get you talk to the people who are involved. You can there's many. Uh, uh, places that you can access information and uh, and get yeah, to, and you can answer a lot of questions. Yeah, I, but, I'm just interested in how they structure it. I'm not personally expecting. Yeah, well, it's, you know, know, I, they, yeah. you know, they've extended invitations to me, and I keep saying, I'm, <laughs> "Excuse me, I'm, I'm going to get there. I'm going to get there." And, I, and uh, you know, part of it is you know, when I get my motor home in the next couple of years is. I've got to get on the road and really, uh, uh, you know, really sit down and have a, have a, a meal with them and, and uh, talk turkey. I, I, I don't want to offer uh, misinformation, you know. So uh, that the, 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 you know, you, every, you know, seek. It's kind of seek and you shall find. You it know? said it said on here that they established a cooperative kind of way of. Yeah. Well, I, imagine, I imagine that that what you do is uh, they it probably uh, is similar to a life estate, or it, 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 there might be an option where what, whatever you build there can be passed to your heirs. You know, I'm sure, I'm sure uh, knowing these people that they're uh, it's, it's flexible for the individual and the community. You know, it's uh, uh, well. That's what's when they say fractals. That means uh, multiple uh, options. It's not a yeah. You know, it's not you, like they, they because I see that they they have a lot of these different types of houses, like cob houses, and you know yeah. unusual. Yeah, and, so people probably might come there and they might um, build the, their own houses in these unique ways. <laughs> it sounds like that's what. What people do. I'm, I'm just, I'm just looking for more of a, you know, clear overview. And it's not exactly holding all things common, is it? It's not like that's a, that's a well, you know, common. There are certain things that are common to the community, and I think yeah. maybe uh, the common structures and common areas of land that are, that are, you know, designed for community use as a group. And then there are individual spaces that are, are. For you, uh, that you can, yeah. you're free to invite whoever you want to in your personal space. Yeah, they'll have yeah. Personal where, space. where is it located again? Location? Well, what, what was that? Where is it located, these villages? Yeah, British or Columbia. Yeah. British yeah. Columbia, where is that at? That's, that's in the northwest yeah. part of the country, uh, bordering uh, uh, Canada and Washington and Oregon. Uh, and... Uh, you know, up, uh, up, uh, oh. up in that. Up it's in that really in Canada. Canada. Yeah. 
Canada, right? It's part of the Canadian. Yeah, well, it, it, it's it's in that area where the the climate can, uh, in comparison to the rest of the northern uh, hemispheres above that, it's it's mild in comparison. You know. Yeah, so it's close to the border. It's not way up where it's. Yeah. Yeah. yeah pretty, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, you yeah, gotta I just uh, Google British Columbia and and then uh, and and you can get the exact uh, mm-hmm. you know meets and bounds or mm-hmm. or address where it is and you, you can pull it up on a map and see exactly where it is. Mm-hmm. I I I grew up in Alaska and I grew up on a I spent a lot of time in uh, in Juneau and so I, I, it's basically the same topography. You know, you're close to the ocean and. Uh, it's really uh, uh, there's a lot of water, a lot of lush forests. The ocean, really? Oh yeah, it's it's yeah, yeah. Well, that's where the logging industry is in Washington and and uh, Oregon. You know, they uh, they have a lot of trees and a lot of and re- resources. You know, so it's uh, it's right. Uh, it's right. if you're going to go out the boonies somewhere, those are great boonies. <laughs> Great boonies. Like Guess Miss where Missy is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But you're not. Yes, you're not if that anyone far. wants to head over this way, get a hold of me. Okay. Well, <laughs> how far are you? How far are you, Missy, from British Columbia? Borders Washington. Not far. I'm in Eastern Washington by Spokane. Oh, that's right, Missy. You live in uh, Washington, that's so you're not too far. You're right there. British well, Columbia is what about an hour or so from you? Probably two. Yeah, yeah if I ever come up there, we'll go. We'll take a road trip up there and do a show and maybe oh, yeah. and Wow, that's that's interesting. Yeah, passport. I'm. Uh, I'm. Uh, the, uh, you, I hope you guys uh, make that happen and, and get the executive dress and director as part of the uh, uh, phone call. Yeah, and that's, that's great. great. Yeah, that'd be fabulous. Yeah, it'd be good to have somebody, an actual member, a participant on the show, a member of the community. Yeah. yeah. I'm excited to learn more about that myself well, personally. You, okay. you, you could do. You could take charge of the uh, the uh, northwest part of the country because right in that same area, there's there's about 300 local communities. So, mm-hmm. so uh, th- this is the guy that's going to come once a month to the voices from the alternative uh, world, right? From this website. That's a different. That's a different. Like Bel- Belden no, is. Belden is down in Florida. He's on at yeah. Daytona Beach. Oh, and, okay. And he, he was, he's building. Uh, he's yeah. building a uh, an intentional community right there. Oh, okay. Oh, I just got a message from one of my friends. He's going down to Florida, so I'm going to have him check that out. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, he's. I knew him. What's the I name of the place and what's the website for I, I Florida? Don't know. Just I don't know if Bill has a website yet. He's not, but, he doesn't uh, have a website, but he's okay. He I'll was, get him in touch with Sonny, or, or I'll call Sonny and get that he, number and give it to my friend. Yeah, yeah. I um, I, I met him in nine, I met him in '68 in the Haight Ashbury as part of the One World Family Commune. So I, I've known him a long, long time, but he's. Um, He's now in Florida with his son, and they they're renovating some old buildings. But they, he's always into outreach. He's always into trying to get more people involved. And I mean, they're I where, in where in Florida? Where in Florida? What town? Daytona, Daytona, Daytona Florida. Beach. Yeah, Daytona, Daytona Beach. I'll see if how close they're going to be, and I'll get a hold of you. All right, well, continue, guys. Well, if you go down there, bring bring your hammer and your tool belt because uh, he's. <laughs> He's, he needs a lot of volunteers, you know. He he's got mm-hmm. he's got lots to do. I'm no I'm no kidding, you know. Well, my friend is in the position where he he's got time to do help. So oh. we'll see what happens. So that would be oh, great. Oh, okay. he'll be excited. He'll he'll really appreciate that if he's he loves he, to get he people to a teacher. I mean, this, this guy studied under Buckminster Fuller. I mean, he he's the real deal. Yeah, he's he's built domes all over for people and. You know, they had contact with many different people that have done sustainable. I think that'd be the greatest gift in the world if you could change, uh, trade a, a mentorship for 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 labor. You know, and uh, mm-hmm. I think uh, I think Belden would probably be up for that. I don't want to speak for him, but mm-hmm. uh, I know he's got uh, lots to do. 
yeah, and he's older than he's in his seventies, but he's still yeah. very active and in, in his you know able to do this building. You know that he's, that's he's, great. Yeah, well, yeah, well that's that's great because I I really like seeing this um, this cross you know just cross communication and getting people hooked up and. It's cross yeah. pollination. Buzz yeah. Yeah. Or bees. <laughs> right. Music my right. ear. Fertility. <laughs> well, maybe it, it would be time now for Misty to draw a card. If Great. Ready. Nice. Thank yeah. you. I, I had the same thought. Yeah. This is about. Okay. Right. So I would like to ask Sunny. Can, do you have a number, 1 through 81? Come to you? 1 through 81, that's a lot A lot of possibilities. I'll, I'll just, okay, I got I got 71 for some reason. Oh, that's wonderful. my age. Yeah. Okay. That's infinity, by the way. Hmm. It's infinity. Seven or one. That's eight. Oh. Well, that's my age, too, but that isn't why I picked it. <laughs> it just popped into my head. I think you're pretty infinite, Sonny. I really do. Yeah, I, I am. I shouldn't I shouldn't limit myself to my bod- bodily. No, we're not, none, of us, none of us are limited to our bodies. <laughs> we are infinite. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah, we're just eternal beings. We are who we are. I, I don't feel any different, although perhaps wiser. But I'm still, I still feel like I did when I was in my twenties and thirties. You know, I'm not I'm the same person, but but wiser <laughs> through experience. Hopefully, right. Yeah, I, believe, I believe I am. <laughs> Very interesting. Yeah. Okay. Shall I tell your? Shall I read the card? Yes. Absolutely. Okay. Okay, the card is Earth Element Pentacles, and it is Charity. Hmm. Charity? Charity. The traditional card is the Six of Pentacles. The key words are kindness, justice, sharing, and generosity. Hmm. The shape shift, okay, so the description is the shape shifting fawn man stands upon a large phallic bridge-like boulder overlooking nature's expanse and beauty. Traditionally, Mm -hmm. an oracular and fertility god associated with field and harvest spirit, the fawn man, like Pan, is a magical creature who is a part human and part goat. The stone bridge he stands on is cut with cup and channel markings, and mysterious faces peer out from the jutting rocks. A large white hound with red eyes and ears sits quietly at the base of the lifelike boulders, as if guarding and protecting the fawn man shapeshifter. Akin to the hounds of the norms and to Dormaf, Win Ap Nud, constant companion, the white hound is part of the wild hunt. These hounds are called Quinn. Unwin, hounds of the underworld, or Quinn Mamau, hounds of the mother. Always seen with red eyes and ears, the hounds occupy other world hunters who ride through the sky on stormy evenings, often at midwinter. The tearing wind, the riders, horses, and dogs make a wild noise in the night, and the sound of the spectral dogs causes earthly dogs to howl and yelp in unison. The white hound waits patiently for his master in the shade of the grove of white poplar trees associated with the wind, fertility, wisdom, and the gray lady. The poplar is called the ancient shield maker's tree because the goddess of wisdom shields the god in life and then removes the shield in death. Okay. That's the description and the prophecy is this. Charity is a card of hard, heartfelt generosity and sharing your riches with others, not for personal gain, but out of the kindness of your heart. Volunteer work, 
philanthropy, gifts, and justice are indicated. There will be productive results in regards to the issue at hand. Begin developing a personal formula for giving and receiving. Allow yourself to follow your calling in life, in work, play, spirituality, and personal relationships. Learn to balance your personal goals and earthly desires by being yourself and giving to others from this place a part of attainment, accomplishment, and productivity. Charity stresses the importance of organization and timing. Make an effort to be in alignment with your innermost self and thus manifest and create as a result of motivation from within, from a place of divine inspiration. How's that? Oh, that seems to fit in perfectly with what we've been talking about. Uh It it seems to fit in perfectly with what we've been talking about. Spot on. Wouldn't you say? Earth element and, yeah, giving and receiving and all of that stuff. Absolutely. Yeah, that's just that's beautiful. Thank you. That was just that was just perfect. Oh, you're so welcome. Thank you. Uh, thank, thank you. you. Sure. <laughs> this evening. <laughs> well, you know, uh, I, I, I'm not. I'm not. I'm trying. I'm recruiting all the uh, the uh, VIPs I need to to help uh, make the show a better show for everybody. And I, you know, I, it would be nice if you if you feel like it. Just to show up every Tuesday and and spend the last bit of the evening giving us an inspirational reading of of, of your choice. Well, oh, I would love to. If you're talking to me, <laughs> yes, I am chatting at you. <laughs> if you feel so inspired, <laughs> so that was that was great. <laughs> you, you're you're a, you're well, part of the weekly show feature. You know. We oh have my. To, so we'll, we can give us a little light so we can find our way. Oh, mm-hmm. I love to share. I love to share. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. That's what I'm that's here great. for. So I would love to. Well, that's, that's we're all great. about that. We want, we we're not nobody's excluded from this program. We, uh, we the, share what we yeah what we are best at or what what comes out of our innermost being and what inspires us. And that that's what. It's great about all of this because we're we can do that here. Yeah, and, we're, we're, yeah, I'd like to. Yeah, we're on the other side of the curtain. We're 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 free now. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, and all we want to do is help everybody else yeah. <laughs> to get here. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's 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 wonderful when we can look back on our lives and see see how. Something is just kind of unfolding in in certain stages and leading us to a place that we are now, you know, and what we're what we're doing now. And, and I, I feel like I've, I've been drawing on resources for my whole life for this show. <laughs> you know, it's like going yeah, like that. It's 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 really uh, prophetic. Uh, you know, you've got a beginning and a middle. And and uh, and and, we're, it, it, uh, and never ending, but it's just like this is this is uh, the capstone of my life because uh, you know when I when I was back there, seventeen, running around the streets trying to stop a war, and 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 get mm-hmm. civil rights uh, for, furthered, I never dreamed that I, you know that I would be here at sixty six years of age. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, so uh, it's it's yeah. just a miracle. Well, I feel like. I'm just embarking on a new phase in my life and crossing a threshold. And this uh, experience, it makes me want to do more of the same. You know, and we have we have radio stations here. We have a, you know, wonderful community radio station. And uh, I, I can see it's, uh, the Diamond Network is going to expand a lot and do, do you know, more I, and reach least, more people in different ways. I'd so least I, anyone. When I when I ended the conversation with Belden, do you know what he really wants to do? He wants he wants to get on a broadcast program, you know. So in, in essence, you know, we we we're, we want to communicate. We all want to communicate this ideas to the greater world. Uh, so coast more coast. coast to coast. You hear of coast to coast? 
Yeah, well, he he's on the other coast. Yeah, he's a yeah he's yeah. Little, Belden, so. Belden wants to uh, uh, get you know uh, enlarge and expand uh, the broadcast to include oh. audio, visual, and and community. You know, put a program together. He wants to. He actually spoke about making vid- videos. So mm-hmm. if we can put a video together. Uh, uh, then we can take it to a PBS or Link mm-hmm. or one of these other networks, and 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 then seek uh, seek funding for a, a, a larger program, and uh, and for a greater audience. And it just, it just this is a good this is a good you know we're like a garage band now, and we got a. <laughs> a, a, a oh, quality, speaking of that, quality. Dale. We're we're actually putting a commercial together for Diamonds Network. How is it funny you mentioned it? <laughs> what? What? Yeah. What? What? From small acorns, big oaks grow. So we got to start someplace. <laughs> what? What's the What's the commercial going to be on? Where Where's it going to be? Well, on? how Diamonds Network started and what it's about and the mission and mm-hmm. oh right, yeah. but what, what you broadcast it on other. Like on the web. Well, we're making a commercial on YouTube, so then we can uh, send it around, like Dale said. Yeah. Yeah, Sonny, uh, Elizabeth's going to be at your house in the morning with a film crew, so get ready. <laughs> in the morning? Oh, boy, a bit ready. <laughs> yeah, about 6 o'clock yeah. in the morning. <laughs> yeah, that's, I'm not a morning. <laughs> you know, well, well, this time when we can just zoom around, you know, the country and, and the world and, you know, on our. Teleport and <laughs> I locate and go take our spaceship. <laughs> that would be nice. Well, you know, uh, uh, another uh, an alternative world and an, uh, and an alternative voice because it's uh, mm-hmm. it's getting kind of monotonous, you know, uh, the, the <laughs> all the rancor and negativity. So we gotta we yeah. gotta help them light 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 the way, you know. Yeah. Well, let's. <laughs> Reason why I'm totally down for making videos. I just need the equipment and the crew. <laughs> yeah, well, this is a this, this is a uh, this is a good time for a uh, a group prayer to to mm-hmm. help uh, have the Creator help us uh, move forward. And, and He's blessed us with uh, the, uh, all the wonderful people, Missy and Belden and Sunny and you. And so all 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 He needs to do is is keep adding and. And so we can. Yeah. Well. Yes. May may all our energies come together in harmonious way to create and recreate a yeah. beautiful tapestry of new world vision and manifestation. <laughs> Amen. How's that? How's that for prayer? <laughs> Amen. There it is. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the highest once, good of all concerns. Uh-huh. Once yes, again, absolutely, we've reached that hour, and yes. uh, we'll, we'll continue next week with more. Absolutely, we'll see what next week brings. Good night, yeah. everybody. Love you. Keep shining. Good night. Love you. Love you all. Good night. Thanks for being here. Are you looking for healing or a change in your life to help you enjoy it more fully? You might benefit from a galactic energy reading and clearing from Chris Jacobs. Chris will work with you on a soul level to clear unseen negative influences, implants, programs, contracts, and energetic blocks. Chris Jacobs is a gifted energy healer. Contact him today at ChristopherStephenJacobs at gmail.com.